my name is Payne Coombs. I'm the MasterChef champion of 2014. I went on the show to showcase my passion for Malaysian food and it is an absolute pleasure to showcase that again in Selfridges in Pink Pan Asian. We are a fully halal restaurant, all our meats are halal and there's no cross-contamination and there's no alcohol used in the food either. We have a lot of customers feedback saying that the food is fresh, authentic and absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to share with you all the selection of dishes we have here in Ping Pan Asian Southridges, London. So the first steamed dumplings selection we've got is called a Ha Gao. It's handmade by our chefs and inside are succulent prawns and it's topped with a little caviar on top. This is our vegetable dumpling and uh, it's got shiitake mushrooms, uh, lots of different crunchy vegetables into it like water chestnuts, carrots, full of vegetable goodness uh, and topped with a goji berry. Um, and again, it's handmade and steamed to order. This is duck uh, spring roll. Everybody loves a spring roll, but we stuffed it with marinated duck and served with hoisin sauce. This is Malaysia's most favorite snack, traditionally grilled on charcoal, it's chicken satay. And you'll see chicken satay in a lot of places, a lot of Asian restaurants, but Malaysians pride on their chicken satay. It's essentially a marinated chicken thigh, uh, we use chicken thighs, um, with a lot of spices like lemongrass, cumin, uh, onions, um, and turmeric to get that yellow color and we skewer it on a bamboo and griddle it um, to serve you with our homemade satay sauce. Now uh, this is as close as we can get it from the streets of Malaysia and we've had so many nice reviews about it so I hope you enjoy it. And eating a chicken satay you have to have it with satay sauce which is a good dip, a good amount of satay sauce and off you go. You know, we put banana leaf on a lot of things as not just a garnish, but banana leaf uh, with hot food really uh, releases an aroma. So it all helps the flavor of the food. The brilliance about chicken satay is, is the heat of the charcoal heating that fatty meat and the marinade. Um, and we brush them with um, coconut milk to actually add more fragrance to the meat and make it a little bit more juicy as well. Everything on the plate you see here adds to the flavor of the chicken satay. And the most important thing about chicken satay is that peanut sauce. And it's homemade, it's seasoned to perfection, and you can lick the bowl. I can eat satay sauce till the cows come home. So this is again one of Malaysian's pride. It's called a cha kui tiao. Um, it's stir fry flat rice noodles. But unlike any stir fry, this flat rice noodles is done on high heat to create that smokiness. Running through it is sambal, which is a spicy chutney, if you like, with shrimp paste um, and lots of onions and spices cooked down. Um, we're running through it while we're stir frying it and then top it with seafood like fish cakes. Um, very typical of a um, Southeast Asia, which is a compact fish and then cut into slices and fried, delicious, and succulent prawns as well. And running through it to add a bit of texture, we have the bean sprouts and garlic chives, which is very different from spring onions. More pungent, makes the whole dish a bit more richer and delicious. This is also one of our biggest sellers. This dish is all about something called wok hei, we call wok hei is translated as breath of the wok. So it needs to be wok fried in a high heat to infuse that smokiness into it. So like no other, I think I'm biased, but this is my favorite noodle dish, fry noodle dish. Nasi goreng means fried rice, but this is fried in sambal, uh, soy, uh, loads of, uh, you can have chicken or prawns. We have chicken here with eggs. Um, it's just flavor bomb, and I love rice. Um, again, this is one of our favorite dishes um, here. It's our customer's favorite. They always ask for it. A little bit spicy uh, with loads of different textures. Yeah. First 
plunge the noodles and then uh, serve in the bowl. Then you cook the sauce with the uh, clam, prawn, fish cake and the tofu. And then it's simply like a 10 minutes to boil it. And then they add in the bowl here. So uh, on the end we serve the mint leaf and the sambal with the uh, lime and then the lime you squeeze on the top. The thing that I find about laksa is you need enough soup to make it a soup dish but covering it all doesn't actually make it a good picture so I always lift it up. Are you ready? It's just too small a uh, 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 chopstick for me to... Uh... No worries. Well, it's a mixture. Yeah, it's a mixture of clams, uh, prawns and fish cakes. So the reason with these two and um, these two types, one soak up the juice, one is more al dente, so you get two different textures. And this is called a curry laksa. The sambal here is usually, there is a certain level of spiciness. The sambal is for people who wants to spice it up a little bit. Uh, the lime, again, is not there for garnish. The mint also is not just there for garnish, it's actually improved the taste. If you have a bit of lime dip in a curry sauce with a bit of noodles, uh, the mint is delicious. Um, and squeeze the lime of it, it makes it a bit lighter. This is Hainanese chicken rice. The way we do it is you can order a steamed chicken, which comes like this, or fried chicken. If you're feeling particular, you know, I want fried chicken today, we, we do a fried chicken version as well. And Hainanese chicken rice are always um, served with a certain condiment. This is seasoned soy. It's like a sauce to pour over the chicken and the rice. And this is a tangy chili and lime um, and ginger chili sauce. All these elements have to go together with the chicken to actually give you the full taste of a Hainanese chicken rice. Um, with the poached chicken, uh, it has to be succulent and it's topped by a ginger sauce. And this is been marinated and then deep fried. So this can be eaten on, to be honest, as an entity on its own. And the rice is cooked in chicken fat and uh, spices as well. We put ginger in there and lemongrass and also the stock from poaching the chicken. So the rice itself is flavoured. Go for it. I'll serve you some. And then, we have the deli counter downstairs as well, so if they want to take away for the weeks, let's say, or take away for dinner um, in the evening, they can go downstairs to the deli. And we have Hainanese chicken rice um, on sale there, and nasi goreng, um, a lot of other dishes as well that they can take away. We have satay, curry puffs, spring rolls, so it's much more of a takeaway downstairs. Thank you guys for coming down and I hope you enjoy the food and share our passion um, and what we're trying to do here. Um, like I said before, nobody really knows that this exists, this space exists and Ping exists here on the fourth floor in South Regis, London. So I hope this will get the word out and get people to actually come and try our food.